Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again. Let's randomize our character this time. No more Lilith, but uh, well, I say no more Lilith. Did how how often have we played Lazarus? I feel like Lazarus comes up a lot. There you go. That's a little more enjoyable. Let's go with bit of Andromeda. And one thing that's got me kind of excited about playing Andromeda right now is it depends if it works. I don't know if it actually does, but I just downloaded a mod that adds in. Also, I completely forgot this character had uh, the tiny planet effect. Oh my lord! <laughs> that guy was coming at me with the force of thousand suns. Um, I just downloaded a mod that adds in a new type of heart that is essentially like a. Uh, do you know the giant cell item that gives you the mini, mini Isaacs? Um, there's, there's two mods out there. One of them is the unique Mini Isaacs that adds Mini Isaacs for all the characters, including a lot of the modded ones like Andromeda. Um, but Giant Cell is kind of a rare item. It's not something you see a lot. And then there's another mod called Dynamic Mini Isaacs, which makes the Mini Isaacs adopt your tier effects. Both mods are really good, but I haven't had them enabled for a while. And you might be able to, um, you might not even be able to tell that I had them disabled. Do you know why? It's because I barely ever get giant cell, and when I do, I barely ever get hit. So it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a cool mod, but it's kind of pointless having on because you never see our, uh, mini Isaacs. So someone created a mod that adds a new type of heart that has a 10% chance to replace normal red hearts, and when you pick them up, it spawns a mini Isaac. It also adds in a new tr uh, two new trinkets as well that give you increased chances for mini Isaacs. And I was like, yes, please. For one, I just like the idea of new hearts in general. Um, I think they're cool, especially if they're a bit rarer. I do think 10% might be a little bit too high. Oh, my Lord. Um, might be a little bit too high, but otherwise, I'm pretty on board with it. So I've downloaded it. The only thing that I'm not sure of now is will I even be able to pick them up? Because I can't pick up red hearts and it replaces red hearts. I don't know how they work. I don't know if they actually, if they're hearts that actually heal you or if they're just hearts that give you mini Isaacs. There wasn't really much of an explanation. So I guess we'll see. Also, last time I played Andromeda, people were telling me, please use gravity shift more often for combat. I really need to remember to do that because I don't do it at all. And it's, it's kind of dumb that I forget all the time. Um, we have already lost a bit of HP here. A little bit upsetting. Um, I want to try and blow up these bombs before anything, really. But yeah, I, I need to remember to do that. It's it's not exactly hard to um, get rid of this one minute. It's not exactly hard. Can you get away from that pushable barrel, please? Thank you. I really want to use that once the room's over. I want to see if I can find secret room, which I believe to be here. I'm not actually sure. Nope, it was not. Okay. Let's go, because yeah, I can't actually pick up Red Hearts, so I don't know if I'm even going to be able to pick them up as this character. But we'll find out as time goes on. I really hope we can, um, but we'll see. We, we, we shall see. Uh, we need to find our item room. We'll see if we want to end up gravity shifting the item room or not. I'm. It, it, it really just depends on the item you get at this point, doesn't it? Uh, okay, so this is our starting room. Okay, so we haven't been this way. It's most likely this way. Enemies that chase you as this character are, are quite horrible. <laughs> I suppose you can do the tactic of just trying to use your body as a weapon. It's, uh, I gotta say, it works out, it works out. Ooh. Now, while this is one that I feel can be pretty bad if you don't fall off the bosses, this can give you insane stats. It can give you loads of luck upgrades. Um, and we got it early enough for it to be a big deal. So we'll definitely be taking that. Uh, I do apologize, Gravity Shift. It was not your day today. But anyways, let's keep it going. But yes, as for today's uh, question of the day, what's your favorite, like, minor thing? in Isaac. Like, like mini Isaacs. What's your favourite, like, thing that doesn't really appear all that often, isn't really that common, but you still think is, like, really cool? It could be an effect of an item that's pretty rare, or just, uh, like, a, a room type that you don't see very often, or a, a, a boss variant that's really rare, something like that. What's, like, one of the big things in Isaac that's, like, pretty rare or pretty uncommon that you really, really like? I think mini Isaacs are a big one for me. I think mini- what the hell? I think mini Isaacs are pretty awesome. Um... Okay, this has really become quite a shit show, hasn't it? Uh, I really need to kill the big guy first. Uh, I think gravity shift could be quite useful here. Let's try it out. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to try and do that more often. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. Dude, stay the fuck back. Why are you so fast, little Bebski? Why the heck are you so fast? You weren't raised right. There we go. So we got this and we got ourselves a luck upgrade. Some extra pennies. Little Steven, I have to say little Steven's pretty heckin' good for us right now. Uh, for one, he's going to orbit us, which is just cool. Uh, we're just going to the lamb, okay. Um, he's going to orbit us, which is pretty cool. But also, we're going to get this extra additional bit of ability to fire straight forward, which is very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Um, one moment. Right, let's continue on. Yeah, having having the ability to shoot straight, especially the ability to shoot straight with the addition of herming, pretty good stuff. Okay, this guy is going to be a bit annoying with him moving everywhere. It's okay, we got it, we got it. Okay. Ooh, this is a room that speaks to me. That room is, is saucy. I do wonder, does that room always spawn two spirit hearts? Or does it have a chance to spawn any heart? And I just got really lucky. Right, let's pop in here. We're definitely shifting that bad boy. Ugh. Ugh. That's totally gross. I gotta say, I'm taking it because I want the consumables. <laughs> That's probably a terrible reason to choose uh, taking Libra. But we get six of everything. And I kind of needed six of everything, because we just didn't have much of anything. So, yeah. But we now are in a pretty uh, icky spot. Although, i got to say, the Andromeda costume for... Um, oh, my God. The Andromeda costume for Libra is pretty cool here. Ooh, giant boulder. We got some real good stuff here. So, first of all, let's take a look at the Super Magnet now. So, we definitely want this. This is a must-take. Huge boulder... Huge boulder is incredible. I think we, I think we, I just want to say, I think we risk it and, and take it. I'm also going to try and get the old urn as well. Damn it. Yeah, that's a, just a huge all stats up for us. That's very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Awesome. Yeah, having, having bugger tears is, is very nice for us here. I'll definitely bomb into here. I think that makes a lot of sense. Beautiful. Now we can actually play our shop, or we can try and get the urn, the the, the old urn, what, what I think it was called. I think that's just uh, an act of one yeast active that spawns some soul so stull, soul soul stones, stull stones, stull stones, stull stones, stull stones, stull stones, stones. Okay, feeling good right now. Oh, my my beautiful baby. Oh, oh, I love you so dearly, Molten Penny. Oh my god. Molten Penny. Oh ho ho. It's got some sauce attached to it, that one has. That is an item that I cannot be trusted with. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna wreak some havoc with this bad boy. We are gonna wreak some havoc with this bad boy. I cannot be trusted. I like to duplicate too much. We get a bad boss item. We duplicate. We get a bad active item. We duplicate. We get about anything. We duplicate. Basically, unless the item is incredible, we try to duplicate. <laughs> that is that is the story. There's another luck penny. You see, that's why we duplicate. That is why we duplicate. I don't really care too much for Devil Deal here. Um. Make our way back over this way. Nah, do you know what? I was going to try and get the urn. I'm just going to keep my shit and go. I'm just going to keep my stuff and be on my way. Let's go. You just got to take the risk with the duplications. Curse of Rebirth. Okay, good to know. Good to know. This is probably a decent room to gravity shift. There you go. That worked out quite nicely. Bogatia is just doing its doing its thing. This guy rebirth. That's okay. We can deal. I don't know if rebirth enemies rebirth with the same HP. It always feels like they rebirth with less, but I don't actually know. Right. Let's keep her going. Oh, hello. 
You're an enemy I haven't seen in a while. Oh, that was close. Do you do anything? Who knows? He yells. We know that. And he moaned. At least this loud. Right. We got some bats coming in. Unfortunately, we cannot gravity shift these guys. Rebirth on these dudes is annoying as hell. <clears throat> I actually think we've got a very good setup for killing rebirth enemies. Uh, just because we have like this, this herming effect on Nurse Goblin and on little Steven. Piercing would really uh, top the cake for us here, though. Yeah, you rebirth, but that's fine. So did you, actually. Okay. Booger tears are, are popping off right now. We're getting loads of them. I still don't know if Nurse Goblin is affected by luck. I don't think it is. But if it is, it's going to be good. Because the more bosses we defeat without being hit, the more luck we're going to get. Charged. I'm going to leave that there for now. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Why am I like this? I could have just bought the Soul Heart. I really should have bought the Soul Heart prior. Because the thing is, the Soul Heart's kind of fuel for us using Molten Dime. Okay, Rebirth on this room is pretty saucy. Actually, not so bad. Thought it was going to end up being a lot worse than that. Let's just go do our boss first here. Frail. I don't know if we'll get a Flawless on this bad boy. This is a boss that I don't often Flawless. Also, having the dumpies in the way is just annoying. This is one where our gravity shift could be extremely useful, so just remember that. Yeah, there you go. I just, I don't know why, but I get hit by this guy all the time. But we did get a plus three look, that's pretty good. And it gives us a soul heart as well. We also got prism, which, oh my god, is prism going to be very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Prism is going to be awesome. I'm so excited for this. Because it's, it's not quite far enough away, but it's going to be proccing our, uh, our Prism pretty often. I think Secret Room could be here. It is. You know what? That seemed very worthwhile. Although, are these, stick are these all sticky nickels? No, okay. Wow. Wow. What the fuck's going on? That was lucky. That was very lucky. What the hell's going on right now? I'm going to gravity shift. Definitely just going to take that. I would molten penny it, but it's too good. We haven't actually found a planetarium yet, but we're, our chances are creeping up. My god, game's slowing down a little bit already. I'm not quite sure what that's about. But it's only going to get worse from here. <laughs> Might just be because we have a billion tears on the screen already. Check this out. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh, got go we even got golden keys to go along with this beautiful... This is a cool run. I like this a lot. Do not like these enemies. A lot of chests in this room. <laughs> okay, Binky's a, just a take. We did get an on-hit effect thing there. Right, let me just quickly bounce out, bounce back in. Okay, butter bean. Really? You serious? Right, we're gonna go. We're gonna try and get a battery charge and do that again. Oh wait, didn't we? Didn't we just absolutely chop our shop up and it? It can't have battery charges anymore. Let's add a reroll machine. But you didn't. God damn it. Um, heck. Let's see if we can get anything going on here. I doubt there's a way for us to get enough charges, really. But you never know. Second secret room could provide, but there's that one that is just full of, uh... Can we hit these guys? There is that one that is just chock full of batteries. We could end up getting that. Golden bombs. I know that this isn't secret room, but I'm going to bomb it anyways.
We, we need to take pills because we could get a 48 RNG. Or we could get an all stats down. Mmm. You know I like it. We only need one more room completion. Second secret room. I mean, it's a bit of a risk, but let's go to our cash room. Ah, I was hoping it'd be a one with, um... Okay, don't matter. It wasn't a risk. I was hoping it'd be one with enemies. Right. So we can gravity shift to just stop our tears from pissing us off. Right. Let's keep on looking around. Lots of mushies here. Full health. Not bad, but not what we're looking for. God damn. We're getting all the pills. Right, second secret room should be in this room, I think. Okay, there it is. That is all the stuff. Oh, here's one of the cell hearts. Yay, they do work. Little baby Andromeda's. Hell yes. That's so cool. Um, What? How did me opening this open this other chest as well? I don't know what happened there. Look at the baby Andromeda's. They're so cute. Um, Concussion. I don't think we can even take Concussion, I'll be honest. Damn, I think we're all out of luck here. I think we gotta, we gotta just go. I mean, I should technically at least take Best Bud. It does, it does contribute to a, a transformation. But it's a bit of a shame to not be able to, uh, to re-roll that bad boy. Let's go, but yes, the Cell Hearts work. And they give us the miniest little babies. They're so cute. Look at my baby Andromeda's go. Ow. God damn it. They should also have our tier effects as well, if that other mod is working. Although, I do suspect one of these mod is, mods is maybe causing some of my lag here. Because I'm just getting some inherent lag from, like, playing the game. I've not got anything crazy going on. I'm not shooting. I'm just getting a bit of lag and... I wasn't prior to installing these mods, so I think one of them- Whoa, look, they actually have, like, orbiting tears and everything. That's so cool. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. That's so cool. We have so many bombs. Look up. Our luck is scaling quite high. I think one of our boys died. The other one's still here. HP up, look down. Honestly, lower my luck all you want. It's never going to reach zero. I'm just going to keep getting more and more. But yeah, I'm really glad you can pick it up on characters that don't have red health. I wasn't sure if it would work. I'm very glad that it does. But yeah, I'll have to do a few test runs with these mods on to see if it is the cause of some of this lag or if it's just Andromeda causing some of it. I don't know. You never really know with modded Isaac. It's not bad, to be honest. It's 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 kind of hard to notice. So I only notice it if I'm paying attention. If I'm, like, trying to look for when, I'm, when my FPS lowers. It's kind of in these bigger rooms that it happens more than anything. Right, let's fight our boss here. We should be able to do this without being hit. I would hope. Look at all the rainbows. Unfortunately, our giant cell baby has died. We get ourselves a trinket. Tear multiplier. If you don't have any... Uh, that's pretty good. Here's some more babies as well to go with us. Mmm, this is a tough one. Like, because... It's an all stats up. 
I, is, I don't think it's enough of an also. Also, another devil deal. Thank you. That's a really good item. I am going to risk it and take it because that's a really good item. God damn, my character is looking strange. He's got the binky like in his forehead. Another one. Yeah, they, they, they might be a little bit uh, overtuned. I don't think they have an MCM menu yet, but I'm really hoping the developer adds one just so you can lower the chance because it's 10% chance to replace any red heart. That seems pretty absurdly high to me. I'd probably put it more like 2 or 3% myself, but look at him. Look at him go. I think two of them died already, I'll be honest. They, that's the thing as well, like, they do die pretty quick. And, like, if the dynamic mini Isaacs thing is one of the things that's causing... Ooh. Jets of Fire. I've got to go with Terra, though. Um, if, um... I will gravity shift this. Chance to shoot spectral poisons here so that have a random worm effect. Um, poison have a chance... Ooh, ooh hello. Uh, we got Spurred as well, hell yes. I think Spurred as his character is like basically a guarantee. Yeah, uh, I gotta say like, if if I have to get rid of the dynamic mini Isaacs where they adopt your tier effects, I won't be too upset because although it does make the mini Isaacs a lot more interesting in the way that they fire, if it's the thing that's causing some of the lag, it is a little powerful, especially if we're getting them more regularly. Like, if you've got Giant Cell and you've just got the Giant Cell effect, then it's not that strong. But if you've got, um... Oh, I love Terra. If you've got... Oh my god, we get huge all stats up on killing enemies. That's pretty cool. Um, if you've got this where you're going to be getting Mini Isaacs a little more often, it might be a little overtuned. Having your own tier effects might be a bit too good, so maybe... Just having it give you the the normal tier effects might be a little more balanced than normal mini Isaac's tier effects. I think that's probably going to end up being the case, especially if it stays at ten percent for for a longer time. I don't want mini Isaac's just taking over. There's another one here. Look, another mini Isaac. We're getting them pretty regularly. My god, I'm so glad I took this thingy. Ooh, Golden Brain Worm. I don't think that actually does anything for us. That's definitely Secret Room. It was too perfect. I mean, we're up to 99 cent already. Right, grab that. I mean, I can always go into the mod and edit it myself, which I probably will do, I'll be honest. I tend to do that a lot with mods if I want to just tweak their balance a little bit. We're also getting these half soul hearts pretty regularly here. Ow. God damn, we have so many consumables, it's kind of crazy. We have reached the peak of power. Look, it's shot. I don't know if that room actually finished there. Okay, it did. Go! Suck my chest, suck! Hey, that's not an item. PhD's good here, we'll take that. Yuck. Oh, I love this. It smells four random trinkets onto you. It can be so dangerous, but I love it. Um, Actually, that was really good. So we actually got the new trinket, which let me, let me go and check what that actually does. We got one of the new trinkets from this giant cell mod that I was talking about. Um, Oopsie. More mini Isaacs. Uh, the, we've got the dwarf cell. It's a 50% chance to spawn a mini Isaac upon taking damage. Awesome. Also, we got the Ethereal Penny, which is really good. I don't know what that last one is. I don't know if we can we can check that in the encyclopedia. And technically, it is an inventory now, so yeah, we can, okay. Purchasing an item from a shop makes um, the next non-item purchase free. Okay. I like it. I love that item. I think it's so cool. Blue map's pretty good. Buy a soul heart for free.
The hell's this? Bearthrite. Ooh, hello. He has a special Bearthrite for Andromeda. Um, grants the spur transformation if you don't have it already. Using gravity shift in the treasure room now takes you to a real planetarium. Okay. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. This is crazy. This shop is busted. I don't know why every single soul heart is now free, but I guess. I'm just buying everything, I'll be honest. That, that item's now one cent. Okay, I'll buy that. Oh, cheese grater. Remove one red heart and gives you mini Isaacs. <laughs> Boom. Ah, I had to try it. I had to try it. Okay, so now we can actually get real planetarium items by using gravity shift in our item room, which is insane. <laughs> it also granted us the spur transformation, but we already had it, so. Spur might be a little too easy to get on this character, I've got to admit. I feel like it's hard to play Andromeda and not get spurred. And Spurs are really strong transformation too. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've got to take it. I know that we could get planetarium items. And I know that we don't have many treasure rooms left, but that is such a cool and good item. Basically, insta-kill buttons are sometimes going to spawn in rooms. We can just press them and kill everything. That's so good. What up, Sig? My god, what is going on right now? The multicolored dream. You have been killed. More luck. More damage. How has um, Thingy been good for us this time around? What's it called? Libra. Libra's actually been good for us this time, which is... Not something that normally happens. Oh, hello. Bit more money for me there. Ooh, Head of the Keeper. The money this run is obscene. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I like it. We've also got the Ethereal Penny now, so we're getting some Wisps for that. There, There's one. Boom. <laughs> So obscenely strong. Sometimes you're just going to walk into a room and be like, oh, freebie. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, freebie. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not supposed to be, like, super common, but it seems to be fairly common. <laughs> I'm going to say, I thought it was like one in every like 10 rooms or less. We've had it three rooms in a row so far. Some YouTuber luck right there. Oh, I need to do my gravity shift here. Oh, it, it managed to get it anyway. So we've got double items there. Hello. I'm loving our tier effect right now. What the hell's going on? I thought it was meant to be rare. What the fuck? <laughs> this thing's so overpowered. The hell? What the? The dickens? <laughs> this is obscenely overpowered. I, I thought it was like one in every ten rooms or so. So far, it's been basically every single combat room. Ooh, Rubber Baby 2.0. But we gravity shift and we get Luna. Considering we've got blue map, Luna's pretty good. Oh shit. I, I, I released that uh, that block there. Shop, what do you hold for me? Nothing much, just a trinket for sale for some reason. Okay. I spawned myself a baby. We have missed boss rush, unfortunately, but I kind of expected that, I'll be honest. A lot of penny tears coming out there. Another look upgrade. We are going to the lamb. 
Oh, hello there. Krampus. The Booger tier coins are great. Oh, Lumpur Cool with this setup is pretty spicy. Lump of Coal with this setup is pretty saucy. Look at all the secret rooms. Ow. Another freebie room. Right, we do have item rooms, by the way, because we've got the bloodied crown, remember, so... We do actually have item rooms to find. Right, so we're just making our way to all of our secret rooms here. There's our item room. And now we can use gravity shift to get even more planetariums, right? Or we can take Cricket's body, which is going to be fucking nuts. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nuts. Okay, the kill switches aren't nearly as common on this floor. That's a look upgrade. <laughs> Hello. Actually, we've got PhD. What am I doing? Beautiful. We don't even have, like, crazy good stats this room. Just the items are carrying so hard. Especially Prism. Goddamn Prism is insane. Also, we've got some mini Isaacs here. Hello, fellas. Join the madness. Join us. Oh, hello. Bit of Edgel's cube battery. I thought you'll love it when you open one of these chests and it gives you like six keys back. Oh, shit. Did my mini Isaac just do that? I don't even know who caused that. I mean, you're dead now, fool. Oh, I'm stupid. I really should have um, used my Molten Dime on that bad boy. I don't even know what's going on right now, I'll be honest. There's some crazy shit happening. You want to just calm down? Oh, I think I used my Molten Dime by accident and actually did end up duplicating everything. <laughs> I did. <laughs> God damn, this chest keeps going. This chest is popping off. I think it's just ended the... I think we found all the secret rooms that we could find here. This run is on fire. On these big rooms, I'm always just looking for the kill switch. It's somewhere in here. My lord. <laughs> oh, this run got out of hand quick. The mini Isaacs. Look at the tears from the mini Isaacs. Oh my god. Gravity shift. Stop all of this madness. My god, what the hell's going on? I... I... This is, like, just a beautiful, beautiful display, but I have absolutely no idea why it's occurring. <laughs> it seems that the mini Isaac tiers are, like, duplicating, like, crazy. And yeah, I'm not really sure why. Wait, I apparently didn't finish that last room, are you kidding me? Keep it moving. Oh my god, it's just beautiful. And then we're getting these random uh, worm effect shots as well. I know that Jar of Air is great, but I've got a gravity shift. Neptunus or Jupiter? Definitely Neptunus here. Yeah, that bomb's gone. Oh, it still hit, though. Well done. Oh, this is one of my secret rooms. 
<laughs> it's one of my secret rooms, this. A little dross room just full of poop poop boys. It, it just gives you like the maximum, maximum amount of poop followers. Of the little charming dip boys. And it also gives you dingleberry if you want it. I think it's a pretty cool room. I see you, Dominic. I see you, Dominic. Right, let me just... Doon Doon. Got him. Nothing much there for us, really. What a boss. Oh my god, the brimstone. Perfectly, perfectly shot. What are you doing right now? He was doing some weird stuff there. Okay, the tears are getting a little nutty. I'm not going to do hush just because this is already crazy enough as it is. I suspect the mini Isaacs are, uh, are definitely partially to blame here. Yeah, like I said, I might have to turn off the dynamic mini Isaacs mod just to stop them inheriting our tier effects and creating this lag fest. While I do very much appreciate the lag fest and the crazy, crazy tiers that are going on, I don't think it's healthy for the game. Yeah. Ooh, kill switch. Even in a room with bosses? Nice. <laughs> Oh, and that one's gone as well. Oh, and that one as well. I love that, sir. <gasps> Holy light. Oh my god, with 11 luck as well. This is too nuts. Might want to get out of here before this gets a bit too crazy. I keep forgetting I have flight. I don't even think I finished that room, but secret room's here. On a chest, to give us an item. It didn't, sadly. Right. Through we go. Ah, that's why there was these guys over here. Is that the, is the room over? I genuinely cannot tell. Nope, there's a... There's a host that's just trapped in our orbiting web of death. Look at him. <laughs> He's just stuck inside this little web that we've got going on right now. Let him fire. I don't even know what's happening anymore. We have become an absolute god. I think Spurred is really messing things up as well with Cricket's body. Like, I'm not firing anymore. I haven't been firing for quite a while now. I don't really know why the tears are still going, but... Okay. Are you about done? Good. The room still isn't over. What the hell's alive? Uh, it's you. Hello. Yeah, I think Spurred is definitely one of the biggest causes. Spurred plus Cricket's body does not seem to agree with the game. I love how just glowing blue we are now. I told you that Shamrock thing is obscene. You get so many luck upgrades, it's stupid. The game's playing at like four frames a second right now, by the way. It's just about chugging along. Come on, Satan. You've been fucking dying for like six years. God damn. 
Stamp your foot, please. I don't think I even need to fire for this. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Right, I'm just going to try and walk out the door to remove all these tears. Good. More luck. Double luck upgrade that time. Triple. We got three luck upgrades from that fight. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. We got... I can't tell what that is, actually. I can't tell what a lot of these are. Wait, are they free? There's no cost on them. They're free. Uh, that's possibly a bug. I don't know what why that would be. I don't know why they'd be free. So, eh, who knows? I'm just entertained by like. The fact that this run, like, it, the stats are not that good at all, but this run is obscene. This run destroys all life. Oh, we need to open chests. I forget that. Get Siren's Call. Spider mod. Right, let me try this out. Let me kill both of you. And just go boom. Yay, it worked. And I got the broken mask. Ow, wh 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 where's all these chests coming from? Ah, what the hell's going on right now? I can't tell what's happening. Just stop shooting, please. Go away, Tears. I don't want you. I think we managed to get, like, multiple skeleton keys here somehow. I don't really know how that happened. Shielded Tears, okay. Thank God there was a kill switch in this room. Wow factor. Alrighty then. Keeper's kin. Eternal D6. Haunted Rose. Don't know what the hell's going on right now. Entropy. Holy fuck, that's going to be crazy. Cursed Eye. Pinball. I'm not firing. The hell's going on right now? I'm not even shooting. Stop. <laughs> oh, God, no. I don't know what's happening, but I no longer have to fire. Um, I'm going to blame Entropy. Entropy always seems to be the cause of, of really broken stuff in this game. I just want to see what the items are. The Caregiver. Didn't we have this recently? Well, I know, we had it in a recent upload. Oh, God. Anarchy. Experience bar. Is this Glitch Crown? I think this is Glitch Crown. Yep. Most certainly is. Raw liver. Let's get the hell out of here before things really start to mess up. They're already pretty messed up. I don't even know where the boss is. I can barely even see the heckin' map. I've got to admit, Caregiver's bloody effect is way too dark. I can't see what the hell's going on. I, like, I, I can't even... Like, I, I'm not shooting anymore. I haven't shot in a long time. I don't know. Right, one minute. One minute. I have to remove Caregiver. I can't see what the hell's going on. 
quite literally just cannot see anything. This room's not over? How? <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, there was a kill switch in here the whole time. So we really did create, like, an absolutely planetary effect. This is, like, an extinction-level event. Just hoping mushrooms can be cleared quickly before the tears really start to go. But, yeah, it seems that entropy plus pinball makes us automatically fire. I'm just trying to get by here. This is nuts. We got all the spiders, I think. A lot of these secret rooms. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I was going to say it's not firing anymore, but then inevitably it began. A devil deal, you say? I don't know what it is. Probably not. Oh, it's just my shadow. Which is kind of funny with the, uh, with the Curse of Blight effect, because you can't see what the item is because it's just a black outline. But my shadow is already a black outline. <laughs> Please let this hell be over. <laughs> I am no longer in control. This is what they call Disco Inferno. No. Let me out. Let me in the chest. No! Stop picking up luck pennies! Just let me go before the game crashes. Thank you. Oh my god. Holy hell, that was insane. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.